Hey guys, I'm Rehe and in this video I want to show you how we can use service in Android. Let's start. First of all, I want to answer this question. What are services? A service is a component that operates in the background without requiring direct user input. The service is not connected to the lifetime of an activity or fragment since it lacks a user interface. Services are used for processes that are repeated and uh, may take a long time to complete, such as uh, internet downloads, checking for new data, data processing, updating content provider, and so on. Service uh, have a great priority than uh, in active or invisible activities. The Android system is less likely to kill them. If the Android system terminates a service, it can be programmed to be restarted if adequate system resources are available again. It is possible to assign service the same priority as foreground activities. In this case, uh, it's required to have a visible notification active for the related service. It's frequently used for services which uh, play video or music. Type of Android service that we have foreground service, background service, and bound service. First, a foreground service uh, services that notify the user about its ongoing operation are terminated as foreground service. Users can interact with the service by notification provider about ongoing tasks such as downloading a file and the last step uh, that we need to know about android service is about the life cycle of android service in android services have two possible paths to complete its life cycle namely started and bounded the first one started service by following this path, a service will initiate when an application component called the start service method. Once initiated, the service can run constantly in the background even if the component is destroyed, which was responsible for the start of service. Two options are available to stop the execution of the service by calling a stop service method and the second one the service can stop itself by using a stop self method and the second type of life cycle is bounded service it can be treated as a server in a client server interface by following this path android application component can send requests to the service and can fetch result a service is termed as bounded when an application component binds itself with a service by calling bind service method. To stop the execution of this service, all components must unbind themselves from the service by using unbind service method. Okay, here I have a new project and in this project I want to uh, I want to show you how we can use services in Android. Okay, first of all, I want to add some view in my XML. For saving time, uh, I prepare uh, this view for our application. And now we can start uh, coding. Uh, first of all, I create a class the name my service okay. 
and extend it from service. Yes. And here you can see we need implemented uh, some function. And so here I choose this one. Okay. First of all, I need uh, a variable from my uh, media player. So, private yes, and I need. Um, to create a function for execution of service uh, by calling this method. Now I can use that variable Yes, this one Yes First of all, I need to pass context and then I need as a, a here I want just uh, set uh, a default ringtone as a play song or something like that. Settings, yes. Not. I guess need. Yes, this one and uh, here. Oh, I need import. Yes, this one. And here, default ringtone URI. Here, yes. And then I need to set player dot set looping. as uh, true why I got error oh, because I guess yes this one is right yes and the second step uh, sorry the next and the next step I want to start this song then I need a return a start sticky. Yes. And also I want to here first of all please let me know and on destroy. Yes, this method. I want to player dot on oh, sorry player dot and here I want to say player dot stop. Here I have done and I have message. Oh, sorry because of 
that. And here I need add override. Yeah, it's done. And now I need to coding from my activity. First of all, uh, I want to add view binding here. Yes, true. Sync it. Okay, sync is done. And now Let me see that. Uh, let me twirl. Binding. Yes, this one. Is layout inflator and the last step for view binding here pointing dot root. Okay. Pointing dot apply and uh, btn start dot set on. Click listener and I want another btns dot, dot set on click listener. Okay. Here I want to start my service. So start service here. You can see. intent this and my service yes why we have error here about this one I want to stop series stop series oh, sorry intent actually this one yes this I want this one and again my series done and now I just run uh, my emulator and we can see result of our code okay uh, now we can see our result of code uh, but there is an issue doesn't work why because I forgot to modify uh, my Android manifest file because um, need to add um, my service inside the application uh, tag. Here I need to add this line. Now I restart the application and we can see our result.
Now uh, you can see, yes, our uh, application is work, and and you can see the series run in the background, and uh, open again. I can stop the play song. Uh, okay, now uh, we are done with our project. Uh, so I hope you will keep watching this series. And uh, if you like my video, please uh, subscribe my channel and also uh, leave me comments and uh, also uh, share this video. Uh, with your friends all of them encourage me for recording a new video and more video thank you for watching